A Day in My Life Running in Sweden. Oo, tumatakbo kami kasi inahabol namin yung bus. Pero at the end of the day, iniwan lang pala kami. O, di ba? Ang sakit. Dito kasi sa Sweden, super exact talaga yung time na dumarating yung mga bus. Kaya you should be at the bus station in the right time and the right place. Kaya sorry na lang sa mga naiwan. So we have to wait for 15 or 17 minutes, I think. But it is what it is. So we will just be productive na lang while waiting. For today's video pala, may dalawang au pair kaming ihatid sa airport kasi magmamove na sila sa Spain. Kasi tapos yung visa nila, sobrang nakakasakit talaga. So nagbigay lang kami ng something for them to remember us. Mm -hmm. At ito naman ay para sa isa ding au pair na alis na naman ngayong Thursday. Ay, iniwan talaga nila ako. But good thing, andito na yung bus. So before we will proceed to the airport, pupunta muna kami sa bahay ni Tita Ana para tulungan namin mag-impake yung mga au pair na aalis. As in super nice ng lugar na to, very quiet lang siya. And since it's already autumn season, ang dami mong makakita mga different colors ng mga dahon. Isn't it amazing? So we have arrived. If you have remember, I celebrated a midsummer in this place. So andito na naman ako ulit. I really like this place kasi ang dami ng pagkain always. So for today's video, so what we have, a Filipino version of spaghetti. Dining Deng ni Tita Ana, some rice, and of course, some salmon, and ang pinakamasarap sa malamig na weather. Bulalo ni Tita Ana. Maraming salamat sa tahanan na ito, Panginoon, na napakaraming natulungan at napakaraming... Hindi, te, try mo lang. Gusto ko yan! Grabe, ang sarap! Amunga kayo marami yan! Wait! Binila! 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 Pinaka the best talaga tong bone marrow pang pahay blood maya maya dumating na si teacher Sal. talaga sa mga batang to. Grabe yung energy. Hindi naman talaga ako ganito ka-energetic. <laughs> But we would like to thank Tita Celeste for giving us this, I think it's pencil case or ballpen case. At ayan na, nag-repack na nga si Aleli. Kitang-kita sa CCTV. And now it's time for us to give our gifts sa mga au pair na aalis na sobrang mamimiss talaga namin sila. Ay, nako. Sobrang hirap tanggapin. But, as what I've said, it is what it is. After the happiness and joy, so we have to get all their things. Grabe, dalawa lang sila babiyahe today. Pero yung bagahe nila, anim siguro. Grabe, ito mga bata, ito kaliliit lang mga katawan. Pero, ang daming gamit. Muntik na nilang dinala ang buong Sweden papuntang Spain. <laughs> So from Tita Ana's place, it's just like 5 to 10 minutes away from the airport. So doon na kami sumakay sa van ni Tito na para kaming kinidnap sa loob. Pero sayang-saya pa rin ang lahat. The reality that two of my babies were gonna leave Sweden. It's getting closer and closer, but this is not goodbye. It's just see you soon, and we believe it, and we have a desire in our hearts that one day we will travel together. Grabe talaga yung energy from opening until closing, hindi talaga natatapos. At tinagdagan pa ng chocolate. And thanks God, nakacheckin na din ang aming mga pasahero. This is it. I didn't expect it that it will be like this painful to leave these girls in the airport. Since we started our life group up until today, the closeness, the love, the peace that we have felt every time we're together is really so intimate. So it's really so hard to do this, but God is in control. To Erica, Daphne, and Marcel, always remember... Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, 
plans to give you hope and a very nice future. Thank you for all the memories and we hope to see you again next time. We're gonna miss you so much and take good care of yourselves. Love, Ate Janice.